will call a regular meeting of the Board of Aldermen to order at 7.30. The prayer will be offered by City Clerk Patricia Pietzu and Alderman Dowd will lead us in the Pledge to the Flag. Almighty God, we have the high honor and serious duty to manage the affairs of our beloved city. Fill us, O oh God, with the spirit of unity and understanding, which enables us to face our multiple problems with a serene mind, with justice and charity for all, so that any and all decisions made by us will always be for the betterment and, ha and greater happiness of all our fellow citizens, so help us God. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Wilshire. Here. Alderman Clemens. Here. Alderman Cookson. Alderman Dowd. Present. Alderman Karen. Here. Alderman Siegel. Present. Alderman Shuneman. Here. Alderwoman Melisi Gola. Present. Alderman McGinnis. Here. Alderman LeBrun. Here. Alderman Moriarty. Here. Alderman O'Brien. Present. Alderman Lopez. Here. Alderman McCarthy. Present. We have 13 members present. Also present is Honor Mayor James Donches and the Corporation Council Stephen Bolton. Does the mayor wish to address the board? Uh, yes, Mr. President. I have uh, several several items this morning, this evening. Uh, first, tonight on your desks, you will find a red ribbon in honor of Red, red Ribbon Week. On Monday, we officially recognized October 23rd to the 31st as Red, Red Ribbon Week in Nashua, along with members of the Nashua Prevention Coalition. Red, Red Ribbon Week is the largest prevention awareness campaign observed annually in the United States, bringing millions together to advocate for drug and violence prevention, early intervention, and treatment services. This year's theme is, your future is key, so stay drug-free. The Red <coughs> Ribbon Week campaign is an opportunity to bring people together throughout Nashua and unify them in the cause of ending drug addiction and violence in our city. On Saturday, October 28th, this coming Saturday, from 10 to 2, the Prevention Coalition will be hosting a drug disposal day at the DPW garage where residents can dispose of unwanted prescriptions. Uh, next, Mr. President, uh, this Saturday, October 28th, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., will be the grand opening of the Arlington Street Community Center, located at 36 Arlington Street. This project has been a collaborative effort from the conception. The Community Center Board consists of city departments, including the library, public health, police, schools, and over a dozen nonprofit organizations, such as Boys and Girls Club, YMCA, United Way, the Youth Council, Lamprey Health, and the Adult Learning Center, <coughs> to name just some of them. The center will have three large programming rooms, a computer lab, and shared office space. Furniture has been repurposed from the National Library and it has been donated from the YMCA. A number of repairs and upgrades to the building have been performed and I want to thank the Building Department, the Risk Division here in City Hall, uh, and, uh, and especially Jay Honeywell, who you all know, who has assisted managing the improvements. Other city departments have assisted as well, including I. IT, Board of the Department of Public Works, Parking, Parks and Rec. And this has been a citywide effort, and we look forward to a ribbon cutting followed by a Halloween celebration, which includes activities for the entire family. Monday, October 30th at 9 a.m. will be the first volunteer information session. The center is designed and structured to be a place where the community gathers to support the education of our youth and families and a place through which our young people are connected to learning experiences across our community. On the city website is a page dedicated to the center, including a calendar of programming, which includes programs such as a preschool program offered by the Y, teen leadership programs offered by the Boys and Girls Club, reading and STEAM activities offered by the Public Library, parenting and childhood development support offered by Lamprey Health, 
and workshops by public health, uh, among many others. I encourage you to check out the calendar and hopefully to join us. Uh, hopefully, Alder Alderman Karen will be there in her ward on Saturday for the opening celebration. Uh, the Friends of MBK have already raised $4,700 of private funds for the support of the center and have provided a check for the trust fund that uh, you all created. Next, Mr. President, I wanted to just recognize how many volunteers we have on tonight's agenda. Uh, we have people who have volunteered, uh, been appointed and confirmed for the BIDA, for the Citizens Advisory Commission for Community Grants, for the Cultural Connections Committee, for the National Airport Authority, for the Planning Board, uh, and then some appointments you made, Mr. President, uh, to those same organizations. Um, I want to thank, and I'm sure the whole board thanks, every single person who has volunteered, uh, some of whom are here tonight and who will be sworn in for your dedication to our community and to your willingness to volunteer to uh, serve the uh, board or commission that uh, that, you're, that you've been uh, nominated and confirmed for. So thank you very much. Uh, finally, Mr. President, I have on your desk a, an ordinance which I'm going to ask, which is 01746, which I'm going to be asked that you simply uh, accept under a suspension of rules for a first reading and, ass and assign to the appropriate committee. What it does is it requires that any person who receives a contribution uh, for the purpose of bringing and prosecuting a lawsuit challenging any action of the Board of Aldermen or the validity of any national ordinance or the charter to file a statement of the names and amounts of the contributors that have been solicited, successfully live, solicited for the uh, pursuing the case. Please note that on the last sentence under Paragraph A says that interveners supporting or opposing the city's position shall also be subject to the same requirements. So the point here is that if someone brings a case that uh, raises a matter of public concern, a public issue such as uh, is defined in the ordinance, uh, that uh, the public um, uh, have a right to know the source of the funds that is are being raised uh, to, to uh, support that cause, also, if an intervener, which can happen, enters on behalf of the city they, and they raise money, they also would have to disclose. This is a uh, measure that, uh, is in, that is, uh, requires accountability. It supports the public's right to know, and it is an open government uh, proposal. Now, in terms of history, we have acted before to expand the disclosure requirements under the law. Uh, for example, two years ago, one of the uh, candidates uh, running filed a, an exploratory committee, and um, that was something that had not been contemplated, uh, was not considered in the, in the disclosure law, and we uh, speedily uh, passed an ordinance, an amendment requiring that, it, that a, for the first time that an exploratory committee make disclosures. Uh, I believe that if you look back further in history, you will find that uh, initially the ordinance only covered campaign contributions for those seeking office, but after there had been some ballot questions where people raised money, uh, the ordinance was expanded to include ballot questions. So given uh, some of the developments that have occurred recently, I think it is uh, in the public's interest that we now uh, create a similar disclosure requirement with respect to lawsuits that uh, pursue actions that uh, the public is highly interested in. So I would ask uh, that uh, nothing, other, nothing tonight other than you simply accept the ordinance uh, under a suspension for referral to a committee and handle it in the normal fashion. And that's all I have, Mr. President. Any responses to the remarks of the mayor? Alderman Milzigoni? Yes, um, I have a question for the mayor, if I may, through you. And, but before that, I would just like to um, join the mayor in thanking all of the individuals who are here and those who are unable to attend, um, who are volunteering to serve on our boards and commissions. Um, as I looked over this list, there were familiar names and new names, and it's nice 
to see um, other people participating. So thank you to everyone who's here. Um, they often leave before we get to offer them thanks. I have one question for you, Mayor Donchus, and um, it's in reference to R-123, the Nashua Rail Committee that was established. Um, I may have missed something, but have the members been named to that committee? Um, I don't think, th no, they have not. Uh, I have not named mine, although I believe they, as the ordinance was drafted, they don't require re con the uh, uh, re uh, confirmation by the Board of Aldermen, but maybe the city attorney can Well, if clarify. I may, I, I don't believe they do either. Um, I was just asked, and I said I haven't heard anything or seen anything, um, and I know all of the committee members are not coming from the board. I believe the chamber has a representative, and there are other community groups that are represented. So um, I was just <clears throat> checking to see if that group had been formed, if the members had been named. And in looking at the, um, at the legislation, they have 120 days to do their work. Um, are we anticipating extending that? Where where are we with that? And these questions have all come up because of our recent move forward with rail. Given our recent move forward, I think we should, you know, uh, we should extend the, the deadline, and maybe there shouldn't be one. Um, so I, I think, as I understand it, if we are correct that aldermanic confirmation does, is not required, I, I simply will send a memo to the Board of Aldermen. But I can tell you that my intention is to appoint uh, Dan Kelly, who's here as my representative, and to appoint Betty Lasky and uh, Carl Seidel. Okay. So as soon as we get to it, I will send you a memo to that effect. Okay, thank you. And I just think there are people in the public who are interested because of both things happening. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any further responses to the remarks of the mayor? Uh, Recognition period. There is none. Reading the minutes of previous meetings. Alderman Mulcher. Thank you. I move that the minutes of the Board of Aldermen meetings of October 10th, 2017 <coughs> be accepted, placed on file, and the reading, reading suspended. Motion is that the minutes of the Board of Aldermen meetings of October 10th, 2017 be accepted, placed on file, and that the readings be suspended. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that motion carries. Communications? Alderman Siegel. I'd like to make a motion that the rules be so far suspended as to allow for the reading of a communication by title only that was received after the agenda was prepared. Motion is that the rules be so far suspended as to allow for the reading of a communication by title only that was received after the agenda was prepared. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And that motion carries. Communication from uh, Mayor Jim Donches regarding communication in NAMI, New Hampshire, Connect Suicide Prevention Project. I'd like to make a motion to accept place on file and award the two-year contract to NAMI, New Hampshire in an amount not to exceed $22,580. Motion is to accept and place on file a communication and to award the two-year contract to NAMI, New Hampshire in an amount not to exceed $22,580. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. A uh, period for public comment relative to items Expected to be acted upon this evening. One, there is one signature, Jill Longval. Hi, thank you for having me this evening. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm here if you have any questions regarding. Can you give your name and address for the record first, please. Sure. My name is Jill Longval. I'm the senior environmental planner at the Nashua Regional Planning Commission. Do you want the address for the Planning Commission? Okay. Nine, Executive Park Drive, Merrimack. And I'm happy to answer any questions you have when we get to that point in the agenda. OK. Uh, petitions? There are none. Nominations, appointments, and elections? There are none. Reports of committees, if there are no objections, the report of the Finance Committee of October 4th, 2017, will be accepted and placed on file. If there are no objections, the report of the Committee on Infrastructure of October 11th, 2017 will be accepted and placed on file. If there are no objections, the report of the Personnel and Administrative Affairs Committee of October 16th, 2017 will be accepted and placed on file. 
And if there are no objections, the report of the Planning and Economic Development Committee of October 17th, 2017 will be accepted and placed on file. Written reports from liaisons. There are none. Confirmation of the mayor's appointments. Business and Industrial Developmental, uh, de, excuse me, Development Authority. Alderman Siegel. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to confirm by voice vote the appointment of the following individuals to the Business and Industrial Development Authority. Deborah Novotny, 65 McKenna Drive, Nashua, for a term to expire September 30th, 2018. And Carl Andre, 10 Clydesdale Circle, Nashua, for a term to expire September 13, 2019. Motion is to confirm by voice vote the appointment of the following individuals to the Business and Industrial Development Authority. Deborah Novotny, 65 McKenna Drive, Nashua, for a term to expire September 30th, 2018. And Carl Andre, 10 Clydesdale Circle, Nashua, for a term to expire September 13th, 2019. Is there any discussion of that motion? If, if not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries, and Deborah Novotny and Carl Andre are appointed to the Business and Industrial Development Authority for terms to expire September 30th, 2018 and September 13th, 2019, respectively. Are either of those individuals here? They will be sworn in at a later date. Citizens Advisory Commission for Community Grants. Alderman Karen. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion to confirm by voice vote the appointment of the following individuals to the Citizens Advisory Commission for Community Grants. Beth Quam Tajam, 14 Alice Drive, Nashua, for a term to expire October 1st, 2018. Patricia Casey, 15 Pine Hill Ave, Nashua, and Jason Telesky, 5 Shakespeare Road, Nashua, for terms to expire October 1st, 2019, and Michael <coughs> Effelberg, 7 Edison Street, Nashua, for a term to expire October 1st, 2020. Motion is to confirm by voice vote the appointment of the following individuals to the Citizens Advisory Commission for Community Grants. Beth Quorum Todium, 14 Alice Drive, Nashua, for a term to expire October 1st, 2018. Patricia Catesey, 15 Pine Hill Avenue, Nashua, and Jason Talerski, 5 Shakespeare Road, Nashua, for terms to expire October 1st, 2019, and Michael Apfelberg, 7 Edson Street, Nashua, for a term to expire October 1st, 2020. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that motion carries, and Beth Quorum Todgum, Patricia Casey, Jason Talerski, and Michael Apfelberg are appointed to the Citizens Advisory Committee on, for Community Grants for the aforementioned terms. Uh, whoever of those appointees are here, would you please come forward for the oath of office? Cultural Connections Committee. Uh, Alderman Lopez. I'd like to make a motion to confirm by voice vote the appointment of Dominique Boutard, 91 Bartimus Trail, uh, Nashua, to the Cultural Connections Committee for term to expire September 30th, 2020. Motion is to confirm by voice vote the appointment of Dominique Boutard, 91 Bartimus Trail, Nashua, to the Cultural Connections Committee for term to expire September 30th, 2020. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries and Dominique Bateau is, is appointed to the Cultural Connections Committee for a term to expire at September 30th, 2020. Would you please come forward for the oath? Thank you. 
Nashua Airport Authority. Alderman LeBrun. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I motion uh, to confirm by voice vote the appointment of Sandra Cushing Adams, 5 Scarborough, Scarborough Drive, Nashua, and Farrell T. Woods, 162 Bush Hill Road, Hudson, to the Airport Authority, Nashua Airport Authority, for terms to expire August 31st, 2018, and August 31st, 2022, respectively. Motion is to confirm by voice vote the appointment of Sandra Cushing Adams, 5 Scarborough Drive, Nashua, and Farrell T. Woods, 162 Bush Hill Road, Na Hudson, to the Nashua Airport Authority for terms to expire August 31st, 2018, and August 31st, 2022, respectively. Is there any discussion? Alderman Chonaman. Thank you, Mr. President. I was unable to attend the PAA meeting when these appointments were heard. Uh, I just wanted to say that I'm very glad these two folks have decided to step up again. I think the airport authority is doing a very good job over there, um, and they're really doing an outstanding job, these two and the other three. So I want to thank them at this time for their service. Thanks. Further discussion? Alderman Siegel? I just want to remark that it's probably a lot easier for Sandy this time around. <laughs> and she's done a great job. I, I was not going to point that out. <laughs> uh, any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And uh, that motion carries. I don't see Ms. Adams, but Mr. Woods, would you come forward? Alderman Clemens. Thank you. I uh, move to confirm by voice vote the following individuals to the Nashua City Planning Board for terms to expire March 31st, 2020. Alternate Maggie Harper, 3 Taft Street, Nashua, and Daniel Kelly, 9 Lalike Court, Nashua. Motion is to confirm by voice vote the following individuals to the Nashua City Planning Board for terms to expire March 31st, 2020. Alternate Maggie Harper, 3 Taft Street, Nashua, and Daniel Kelly, Nine Lilac Court, Nashua. Uh, is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries, and Maggie Harper and Daniel Kelly are appointed to the Nashua City Planning Board for terms to expire March 30th, 2020. Would those individuals come forward, please? Confirmation of the President of the Board of Aldermen Appointments. Citizens Advisory Commission for Community Grants. Alderman Karen. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to confirm by voice vote the appointment of the following individuals to the Citizens Advisory Commission for Community Grants. Michael Joseph, 184 Main Street, Nashua, for a term to expire October 1st, 2018, and Jennifer Bishop Saucier, 359B Main Street, Nashua, for a term to expire October 1st, 2020. Motion is to confirm by voice vote the appointment of the following individuals to the Citizens Advisory Committee Commission for Community Grants. Michael Joseph, 184 Main Street, Nashua, for a term to expire October 1st, 2018. Jennifer Bishop Saucier, 359B Main Street, Nashua, for a term to expire October 1st, 2020. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? 
Motion carries and Michael Joseph and Jennifer Bishop Saussier are appointed to the Citizen Advisory Commission for Community Grants for terms to expire October 1st, 2018 and October 1st, 2020. And if those individuals are here, would you please come forward? <laughs> Unfinished business resolutions. Second reading of resolution 17 128, authorizing the mayor to enter into the cooperative agreement for hazardous ha for household hazardous waste collection within the Nashua, New Hampshire region. Alderwoman Lizzie Golia? Yes, um, I would move for final passage of R17 128. Motion is for final passage of R17 128. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries and R17-128 is adopted. Second reading of Resolution 17-136, authorizing the city to enter into a short-term real property lease agreement for 44 Broad Street. Alderman Dowd? Yes, I'd like to make a motion for final passage of R17-136. Motion is for final passage of R17-136. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries, and R-17-136 is duly adopted. Excuse me. Alderman Moriarty? Sorry, I just, it just is entertaining. I was reading the rent. I don't know if you guys read what the, the, the company's paying for rent. They're paying in trees. It's a Christmas tree farm that's renting space that used to be the the old uh, Dairy Queen, and Dairy Queen's not there anymore, so they need to sell the trees, Christmas trees, and they're renting from the city, and the rental fee is trees. Unfinished business ordinances. Second reading of Ordinance 17-039, amending the zoning map by expanding the historic overlay district by adding Greeley Park. Uh, Alderman Schoenemann. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion to amend 017-039 in its entirety by replacing it with the amended copy provided with the agenda, the Golden Rock copy. I'd be happy to speak on that. Motion is to amend 017-039 in its entirety by replacing it with the amended copy provided with the agenda. Alderman Schoenemann, you want to explain the amendment? Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, essentially, what we're doing here is we're clarifying the role of um, the Historic District Commission. It's an advisory role um, according to this, and it just says that um, if, if something comes up that would um, pertain to, um, it would, that would involve a project that would come under the normal auspices, our normal um, um, you know, scrutiny, I guess, of the Historic District Commission, the Historic District Commission will be consulted on that project. It's a non-binding, it's just an advisory role. That's the that's the amendment. Any further comments on the motion to amend? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. That motion carries. Alderman Schoenemann. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion for final passage of 017-039 as amended, and if I may speak on that. The motion is for final passage of 017-039 <laughs> as amended. Alderman Schoenemann. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, the idea behind this is to um, take advantage of one of these uh, volunteer boards that we have in the city, that's Historic District Commission. We appoint folks to this commission who have an expertise, a perceived expertise in city history and a, a, a sense of aesthetics um, and a desire to preserve assets in the city um, for, for the revitalization of the city with time. Um, the idea here is to give them an advisory role, ask them their opinion, call on the expertise that we've already appointed them um, based upon. And I would encourage all of us to please support that. I think it's, I think it's good for Nashua. Thank you. Alderman Wilshire. I want to request a roll call, please. Alderman Dowd. Yes. Um, I'm not going to support this because the, 
the um, Historic District Commission normally looks at properties, buildings, colors, architecture. I don't ever envision us building any buildings on Greeley Park. And we found when we tried to do one simple project on the park that it had to go through the Board of Aldermen and the scrutiny was uh, took forever. So I, I think that uh, the way it's set up now with the Board of Aldermen having that, that oversight is fine. Alderman Karen? Yes, I too will be voting no. I think uh, this is not needed. We have so many boards and commissions overseeing Gurley Park. And if uh, this is non-binding, then I think that if there was something coming up and they wanted an opinion, that they could just go to the Historic District Commission and ask for their opinion on something. And the only buildings that are there probably would come down anyway if Park Rec ever leaves that facility. So I, w I will not be voting for this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to address that um, the legal department took a look at the basically the enabling legislation for Historic District Commission and understood what their purview was and applied that here. It just says that if any building permit or demolition permit which would come within the scope of, the re of review of Historic District Commission for that part of Greeley Park deemed applicable, just says they'll ask them for an opinion. It won't slow the process down. They're given 30 days, according to this resolution, to come up with something. It's just asking somebody's opinion. Folks who we've entrusted um, with the historical um, view of the city. Thanks. Further discussion? If not, would the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Wheelshire? No. Alderman Clemens? Yes. Alderman Dowd? No. Alderman Karen? No. Alderman Siegel? No. Alderman Shuneman? Yes. Alderman Melisi Gola? Yes. Alderman McGinnis? No. Alderman LeBron? Yes. Alderman Moriarty? Yes. Alderman O'Brien? Yes. Alderman Lopez? Yes. Alderman McCarthy? Yes. We have eight yeas and five nays. Motion carries and uh, 017 and 39 is adopted as amended. Second reading of Ordinance 17-041, amending the composition and purpose of the Downtown Improvements Committee. Alderman Clemens. Uh, thank you. I uh, move um, for final passage of 017-041. Motion is for final passage of Ordinance 017-041. Discussion? Alderman Moriarty. I misplaced mine. Uh, this is probably not a problem, but I wonder if you could just remind me what this is. What this does? It adds two members to the downtown improvements committee. Okay, thank you. And, and two alternates. And two alternates. Alderman Siegel. Uh, I believe it also d defines where they need to come from. Is that correct? Um, Alderman Clemens. Yeah, a portion of it does. Um, it says that they have to come from. Um, down to one of the appointments. They either have to be a business owner or a resident. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries and 01741 is adopted. Second reading of Ordinance 17-045, moving parking enforcement to the Office of Economic Development in the Mayor's Office. Alderman Clemens. Thank you. I move for final passage of 017-045. Motion is for final passage of 017-45. Any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries and ordinance 1745 is adopted. New business resolutions. First reading of resolution 17-141, approving the cost items of a collective bargaining agreement between the National Board of Education and the National Teachers Union, local number 1044, AFT, AFL-CIO, Unit B, para-educators, from July 1, 2017 through June 30, 2020, in authorizing related transfers. Any additional sponsors? Alderman Karen, Alderman... Clemens, you're already a sponsor. No, no. Okay. I was going to say, didn't we have an ordinance to take up That's at the mayor's amendment? Yeah, it's not. It, we're not at that point in the agenda yet. 
uh, Alderman T Lopez, Alderman O'Brien, Alderman Melissa Goldia, Alderman Wilshire, and Alderman Clemens. <laughs> I think I got everybody. All right. Um, and just so that everyone knows, I will be recusing myself as that is the bargaining unit that represents my wife. Uh, R17141 will be assigned to the Budget Review Committee. First reading of Resolution 17-142, authorizing a one-time stipend to Board of Public Works Retirement System retirees, as requested by the Board of Public Works Retirement System Board of Trustees. Any additional sponsors? R17-142 will be assigned to the Budget Review Committee. First reading of seven, Resolution 17-143, approving an amendment to the lease agreement with the National Association for the Elderly. Additional sponsors? Alderman Wilshire, Alderman Lizigolia, Alderman Lopez, Alderman Dowd. Uh, R17-143 will be assigned to the Finance Committee. New Business Ordinances, Alderman Clemens. Thank you. I move that the rules be so far suspended as to allow for the first reading of an ordinance received after the agenda was prepared. Motion is that the rules be so far suspended as to allow for the first reading of an ordinance received after the agenda was prepared. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. First reading of Ordinance 17-046, requiring disclosure of contributions and expenditures in legal actions affecting the city. Any additional sponsors? Alderman Wilshire, Alderman Lizigolia, Alderman O'Brien, Alderman Lopez. 01746 will be assigned to the Personnel and Administrative Affairs Committee. Period for general public comment. No one has signed up. Remarks by members of the Board of Aldermen. I'll start over here. Alderman Wilshire. Thank you. I wanted to bring to the Board's attention um, after the incident last Friday um, in the area of Beard and Fletcher Streets, the National Police Department had deployed the Bearcat. And during that operation, the Bearcat failed on them. It's the third such time this piece of equipment has failed on the police department. It was removed from the budget this year. Um, and I'm just putting this on everyone's radar. It's a, it's a very integral piece of equipment. As you know, it, it's an armored vehicle and it keeps our frontline people safe. Um, they had to actually tow it from the scene after everything was um, said and done. They called Manchester down to, to bring their Bearcat down because that is a vital piece of equipment in, in such scenarios. So just wanted to put that on your radar. Thank you. Alderman Karen. Yes, thank you. Um, last week, the uh, city ran its annual health fair at the uh, Nashua Senior Center. And I just want to say I've gone for the last four or five years and the staff did a fantastic job. Um, HR's committee put a great program together and for city employees and retirees, hopefully you all had a chance to go there and the executive director at the senior center said that the <coughs> staff that she worked with from this committee was very good and worked w well with them to make sure that uh, they didn't lose some of the programs in order for them to set up for the the day's event. So I think they did a fabulous job, Mayor, and I think you should uh, tell them that if you have a chance. Thank you. Anybody else? Alderman Schoenemann. Thank you, Mr. President. I um, just want to give an update on some legislation that's been um, pursued up in Congress. Some months ago, this board passed a resolution endorsing House Bill 124, HB 124, which was to reform the aircraft registration fee schedule to make the state once again more competitive with surrounding states, particularly Massachusetts. And I think that'd be very good for Nashua, as so much business um, seems to leave Nashua and just go 18 miles south down to Bedford. Um, that resolution and all the testimony that was made before the various committees um, has enabled this bill to work its way through. It went through the Transportation Committee with an ought to pass. It was sent over to the Ways and Means Committee. It was assigned to a subcommittee. It was tabled in the spring. A lot of times when something is tabled, it means it's killed forever. Um, the chairman of that subcommittee, Representative Abrami, was um, very reassuring that that was not the case and we're going to work on it. And we have been, in fact, going up there once a week for the last several weeks to testify. And that came out of the Ways and Means Subcommittee with an ought to pass last week and is going to the full Ways and Means Committee tomorrow. In fact, that's probably one of the most difficult committees to make its way through because they're dealing with money. And if, if the registration fee 
comes down and some revenues are lost, they had to make it revenue neutral. Um, and it took some creative work and a lot of work. And I want to thank that committee for doing it and all the folks who have gone up there. So tomorrow it's going to be exact. I expect, as does Alderman LeBron, Representative LeBron, that it'll come out of that committee favorably and then to the full house and then through the Senate side. But thank you once again for all those who supported that or for the entire committee who supported it. And that's the update. Thank, thank you. you. That's very good news. Additional comments, Alderman Moriarty? President, I'd just like to um, inform everybody or remind those of you already know, this Saturday, 6 p.m., there's an Opera New Hampshire fundraiser called Arias and Apertivo at the National Country Club from 6 to 9. You can go on to their website at operanewhampshire.org, I believe, and read more about it. But please give it a try. Come visit. Alderman O'Brien. Thank you, Mr. Chair, President. Um, the mayor's remarks may have overlooked it. I'm sure he didn't. But uh, today I was busy. I was doing my uh, grampy daycare things, and I didn't get the opportunity to go. But to recognize three DPW employees, Phil Thibodeau, Eric Johnson, and Anthony <coughs> Bibbo, they were on their trash route in the New Searles Road area on October 14th when they came across a building that was on fire. They quickly jumped into action. They went to the door, banged on the door. Uh, a young lady came to the door holding a kitten and uh, unaware of the fire, and they were able to you know, get up her boyfriend, and all occupants, including a dog, were able to get out safely. Uh, it's good to see that no matter what division that we work in, whether it be police or fire, public works, or the other different organizations that make up this great city, we've got some really great employees that work here. And to do something like this, I think they uh, should have their little moment in the sun. Thank you. Alderman Lopez. Yep, I just want to remind the public that Sunday, October 29th, is the 32nd annual Nashville Area Crop Walk. Um, that starts at Temple Beth Abraham at 4 Raymond Street, um, and the registration is at noon. Committee announcements? Alderman Moore's going. Um, since there is no business for PEDC, we will not be um, meeting the first Tuesday of November. Thank you. Cookson. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Committee on Infrastructure has been canceled for tomorrow evening. Any further announcements? Is there a motion? All of them in Wilshire. Move to adjourn. Motion is to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. <coughs> aye. Opposed? And we're adjourned at 8 12. <laughs>